Hi everyone, so this video is on translations. So this is a type of transformation. So there are four different transformations that we can do with shapes on graphs. So they are reflections, rotations, translations, which are these, and enlargements. Okay, translations are the least scored type of transformation. So they're only usually ever worth one mark, okay, because they are meant to be the most straightforward, okay. What you need to remember and what's key is when you have a translation, okay, when you do a translation, the shape does not change at all. It doesn't rotate, it doesn't flip, it doesn't turn, okay, it stays exactly the same as it is. So if it helps you, you could trace it, okay, and then you could move it where it needs to go. So that's what a translation is. It's a movement of the shape on the grid. Okay. So what it tells me in this question is, is that I'm going to translate triangle C by eight squares right and one square down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one corner. So I'm going to choose this corner here and I'm going to move it eight squares right and one square down. So it moves one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one square down. So this corner now is going to be here, okay? I could do the same from every other corner if it helped, okay? But what I know is that if I redraw the shape or if I traced it, I could put that corner on there and I could redraw the shape. So I know it's going to go across one here like that. And then I know it's going to go across diagonally like this. And then this one is going to join here. So I've got an exact replica of this shape, but it's just moved. Okay, let's do another one. So this time we've got a rectangle and it wants us to move it four squares left and three squares up. So let's choose a corner again. So I'm going to choose this one. Again, I could trace it, okay? And then I would move it. So I just find out where it needed to move to. So one, two, three, four squares left and three squares up. One, two, three. So I know that that corner now is going to move to there. So I redraw the shape based on knowing that these are the same corners. So I know it's going to be one across there. And it's two up like this okay another way that they can show you a translation is in this this is called a vector okay so it's where a number there are two numbers one above the other in brackets okay and what you need to know is that the top number tells you the movement on the on the x-axis so this is the x-axis okay so left or right okay if it was going left it'd be going this way so it's a neg that would be a negative okay if it's going right it's positive okay the bottom number is the y-axis movement okay so it's up or down logic would tell us that up would be positive and down would be negative okay so let's figure this out. So we've got a positive five, so it's gonna go five right. And then it's gonna go negative six, so it's gonna go six down. Okay, so let's do it. So again, I've got a triangle, and I'm moving it five places to the right, so I'm gonna pick a corner. I'm gonna choose this one. So it moves one, two, three, four, five. And then I've got six down, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is there. Okay, so I have to redraw this shape now based on this corner. Remember, you could use tracing paper if it's easier. Okay, so like that, and then like that, and then they join this way. Okay, you have a try now.